Well, we got a lot of uh, corrupt energy out of that, so hopefully that just stacks. It's weird going from a place with level 3 corrupt energy going to a level 2 place. Especially because I still don't know how this is going to work. Am I going to turn all my corrupt energy into unstable energy instead? Are you ready, driver? Okay, first off, I've loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. You see them? Yeah, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You, you're sending them to the visions? Sure am. We're going to use this. My optical vassalizer. We shouldn't use that. Why not? I mean, it's, it's been decades, and no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing up in secret, and I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's gonna be a surprise for your birthday. Oh, I've gone ahead and made an itty bitty modification to your headset, driver. I've hooked up the basilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like, uh, or like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you using the basilizer for? Ah, uh, no spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Drive. Get ready to feast your eyes on the visions. <laughs> okay. Are, we, are you gonna show me, like, holograms of what happened here before? The Paintor. Yeah, I guess I can keep going forward. they just give me? Or was that just a recording of what we just had? So we told you about the mass hallucination. Nope. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Anna as an executive secretary. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like everyone else. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried painting them, but grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first, Anna wrote her off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, her visions in her paintings began to come true. She Ooh. painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day the paint ran empty. And then she disappeared. Like all remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants and the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. <laughs> I don't you know, like the idea that... It I'm gonna disappear though, can we not bring that up? Maybe I'm not gonna disappear, maybe... I'll get back out here to my random delivery job and keep it going. Just gonna fill up my car a little bit. Uh, this is where your theory comes in, Francis. Uh, you tell him. Oh, Tim, look at me babbling away. Francis, you, you explain it. it. It's so good. No, it's just... Uh, I'd rather not. Hey, come on, we talked about this. You should be proud of your work. Toot your own horn. Yeah, I, 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 not this time. Okay, well, uh, Francis' theory, his entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. Every phenomena that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So he created this device to pick up on these uh, sub-physical after effects. 
How did you explain it? It was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. The rest was signs mumbo jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. And what a better time than now to try it again! Is that what we're gonna do here? I come up to the mural and scan it? The inverting doorway. The inverting doorway. No, I don't. I don't like this one. Hey, uh, is it just me, or did this mural look different before? I said I was drinking. Probably soda. the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades, after all. No, uh, something's something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Okay, you know, I'm gonna like maybe try to twist the doorknob. Right. The way of the doorway. Battery. Plasted power pod. And what the fuck is a plastic power pod? I know it's inconvenient to lock everything away, and I know it requires us issuing all our staff not just keys, but the right sets of keys, and then collecting and reissuing those keys as staff are rotated and reassigned, but please consider the sheer volume of materials and resources that have gone missing the last few months. We've had rare substances and corrosive chemicals spirited away. Compounds and catalysts vanish into thin air. Even a whole cabinet whisked out of an office and dragged away by one of those, you know. And since these materials are so expensive, so vital, and sometimes, you know, state secrets, I'd rather we start locking more things up. <laughs> Salamander Grotto. You know, it's almost like Frog Spot. The thing is, I don't see any signs of it growing or changing. I've n discovered a dozen such collections of these egg-like things, and sure, they, may they must be organic, but I have a little more to go on than that. Do they function like eggs and provide some form of incubation and safety? How are they sustained? And if all or even some of that is the case, what is growing in here? Growing or waiting? They're curiously warm, in a fashion quite unlike anything else I've come across. It's almost calming. I see nothing tending to these, nor any evidence of what might have first deposited them. The only connection I can find is that those gigantic glowing orbs are usually nearby, and what little wildlife I can still recognize around here steers well clear. It steers well clear. <laughs> Where's the thing we just see? Anchor party. Chance, coincidence, or an attempt to control instability means this part of the zone is crammed with anchors. Yeah, I should have grabbed the other ones. I would have been fine. Rotten egg. Jim, I'm at my wit's end here. The guys you're giving me are stupid. They're idiots. 23 years in, our, in the armor, and I swear to God, we're at our lowest point. No, you listen to me. They cannot be out here touching everything they come across. New rule. Assume everything is acid. Everything. Oh, is that right? You think I haven't heard that word before? Listen, my first deployment was Italy. I was fighting hand-to-hand -hand in Monday Casino a week after I arrived. You know where I was before that? I was in goddamn camp on Mac McNeil. Guys like you shipped me and my family to a camp in Washington because you thought we would turn against our own damn country. 23 years and I'm not gonna die back in this stupid state because some pimple private doesn't listen because you are not briefing your soldiers. Now you sort this out, and you sort it out today, or I take this all the way to the top. And if you don't, you know, if you think men look, who look like me don't complain, I'll show you just how far this can go. One of us has a bronze star, one of us has a plywood desk. Sort out your battalion, and don't you ever, ever dare, dare question my loyalty to this service, or this country, ever again. Well, I want to find out about the power pod thing. Um... Can I loot those? Payload. When the sky turns against the zone and its residents, as it so often does, sometimes it comes bearing gifts. Yeah, let's just talk about like the storm stuff, yeah. It's so weird when we like where 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 did this information go?
Damn. It went straight through. Well, I guess that's just not for me to mess with. What's the other thing they try telling us about here? Hey, there we go. It wasn't letting me actually go down. Beware the doorway. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. But it's just you explaining. it. And maybe you've already seen them, driver. A freestanding bright blue door in its frame out in the wilderness with nothing around it. If you do see one, don't get anywhere close to it. Do I don't want to talk of about it. He was pretty close wild? to a doorway when it opened. It's called the inverting doorway. When the door is shut, it's safe. But once in a while, it opens. And everything near it is turned inside out. Its victims are mostly bears, squirrels, and birds. They all go through hell. Meat and bones on the outside, fur and feathers on the inside. It's Ew. not fun to see. Once, a group of hikers didn't heed the warning, and then... No, 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 we're done here. Drive it. If you see when you stay away from it, that's all you need to know. Let's go. <laughs> no, keep going. Tell the story. There aren't a lot of wildlife out here. Whatever did remain would probably be horrifying. Can I scan these little balls? No? This place definitely makes me think of um, Annihilation. I almost called, I almost called the movie Arrival. Uh, but movie Annihilation. What kind of weird things could get distorted out here? Animal life wise or not. I got the main things I was interested in. Uh, oh, oh, forgot to open this. Geiger counter keeps clicking. Time to eat this MRE.
what life would be like in this game if, like, modders could like, get a big hold of it. Because you really could fill up the world with a lot of... horrific things. Is that a right man? Oh, it is. Okay. I hadn't gotten a good look at that. Oh, shit. I got distracted by the floating object. Pickpocket. Oh! Yo! My pry bar! That's fair. Wait, it also has an anchor. Or something. Look at this. Jerk. Alright, well at least that isn't too bad. I think they just deactivate after that. Now I know... One of the things I'm gonna go for. <laughs> it literally stole it out of my hands. Hey! Oh, fuck! Try it again! Alright, I'm fucking avoiding those things as much as I can. They're worse abductors. Abductors endanger my life. But at least they fuck off after it's hurting me a little bit. I see. Way over there. Wait, my entire panel's gone. Oh, shit, is that what it stole? Oh, fuck. It didn't look like it took anything. I, like, I just thought it swiped out my car. Because I was in it. But no, it fucking actually took an entire ass chunk of my car with it. Because it floated off without it looking like it had anything. Crazy. It's that or my car just had part of it melted off. Corrupt energy. It's really funny that after all the struggling that we went through waiting for unstable energy to show up, now I'm just getting both of them. When I hopped on today, I kind of thought it was going to be more like we had to get to the outer zones before we run into any corrupt energy, but no, I, at this point, I think we have more corrupt energy than, uh, stable energy. Alright, how do I get in here? <laughs> Not on this side, apparently. I wonder what kind of crazy levels of damage you would take. 
in your car with all of like the panels off. Probably have a lot more character deaths. There's a lot of buildings in this area. Might as well explore them. Uh, you can give me this back because that can stack on here. Is there a second one? <laughs> second little pizza cutter. Chemicals equals marsh eggs. Hell no. What the fuck? Now, marsh eggs into chemicals. Oh. I throw all my marsh eggs into there. Especially if we got a one-to-one -one ratio. <laughs> we never run out of putty ever again. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, no. This isn't the, the one I was just at. I don't know how many I have. I think I've got like four. Like overall. I'll take this. Keeps going. God damn. All right. I'm gonna go slather my car up in repair buddy. If I can <laughs> find it. Thank you. Thank thank God. But the car just has like a GPS function on your screen at all times. I don't even technically need it. Like I'd be fine with just like being able to open up the map in general. You don't get that. The map is only in the car. Alright. Oh, uh, there is a lab to my right. That I can check out? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll drive to it. That's a little further away. Those other areas, that was kind of a rush just because of like storm stuff, but I gotta take advantage of the perpetual stability before it's gone. I don't know if some of them ever come back. I forgot my impact hammer, son of a bitch.
Alright. Impact hammer. Pry bar. I'll just go ahead and drive this over to that side too. This place is great! So many chemicals! Okay, I think that's everything. No need to waste my, uh... Impact hammer, I can get out of here. I have hope in that lantern, the bioluminescence lantern. It's just something that never runs out. Has 100% durability or something. That'd be sweet. I think I looted all the labs around here. Let's see. You know, this thing right here might just be a pipeline. But I'm hoping it's a bridge. I'm gonna go check it out. Just give me one big overpass over the swamp. Oh! I'm out of fuel! Uh, whoopsies. Siphon some gas, I think. Next time I see a car. I taught me a little bit. I think a lot of the gas in my car was burned just from leaving the engine idling. Oh, holy fuck. We're good. Also, you're not supposed to put gas into your car with the engine on. like a uh, red hot flare burning right next to a fuel tank a rusty fuel tank there we go so I think that sometimes the two buttons for putting things away are like different <laughs> Sometimes it's triangle, sometimes it's R2. Alright. Got turned on the car. That's my bad. All kinds of turned around. I wonder what this light on my dashboard means. Like, right next to my tardigrade? My howdygrade?
haven't really been looking at it, but I'm assuming it's an indicator or something. Maybe the radiation levels outside the car. Ooh, these are pretty. Neon reef. Oh shit, is this the coral stuff? Oh, fuck! I need a thermal vacuum for that. Well, I don't got that, so I'm just gonna do what I can. Oh my god. I need these for my last backpack upgrade, and I assume a whole lot of other big things. Crazy the level of stuff we're getting now. And I've definitely passed by some of these before. I just didn't know what these were. I could probably use the regular vacuum. They like probably degrade super fast. Some of them are disappearing. Is that a... Is there a reason for that? Because the ones I was just picking up had nothing happening. And I assume it's because these lights are on them? I don't know, though. back. Alright, now I'm more willing to try the vacuum. A little bit more of a nuisance when they disappear on you. Good enough for now. We got like a hundred forty. All right, let's keep it going. Now I'm like looking everywhere again. <laughs> it's like when I ran into the eggs. Left. Right. Left. Right. That is one disadvantage. Big disadvantage we have using the controller over uh, my mouse keyboard. The speed in which I can assess things is a little bit slower. Do you know, mouse and keyboard? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's over there? What's over there? Whoa. Controller. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Got more of these. Holy shit.
I'm getting a bigger backpack. It's gonna be fantastic. I wonder if you just in general get more out of these for using the right items. All right, like if I pick them up by hand, feels like I get way less than when I suck them up by the, the vacuum per cluster. That could just be me imagining things. I wonder if there's anything I can harvest from these belching barnacles. Oh shit! What the fuck? My vacuum broke the lights! Huh! I wonder what else my vacuum could more easily break. Cool. Alright. So is the mural underneath like right in front of us here again? Or she go up a little bit higher. She went, she went higher this time. Oh, wait, no, here you go. Aw, oh, this got a cute. Ah, For now. Bigfoot mural! <laughs> My personal favorite! Oh, did, you, did you see that, Francis? Oh, boy, oh, boy, Francis, look, look, look! Look here, it's different from our sketch when we visited in 82. It's all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Oh, Francis, you flippin' genius! It absolutely is! Wait, 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 let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That, that shape right there, is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes! Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus... St. Francis? I told you your basilizer would work! I... I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Yeah, I'm working on it. Ah, oh, shoot. I see some more, uh, coral, so I'm, I'm going for it. Uh, driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. No, no matter how tasty it might look. <laughs> You're speaking from personal experience. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. You've probably passed the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid-zone, and one of the best demonstrations of renewable limb tech. Yes, these battery farms keep our lights on, but more importantly, they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. I guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? Bigfoot itself! And the vision foretold its arrival in the zone! It started when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. At 
first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. Then, the sightings of ten-foot-tall creatures started that didn't attract much attention on their own. Not until the first footprints were found. The Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings, but they were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste of the anomalized mushrooms. Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Squatches came knocking. They jumped the wall, set up camp, and they got to investigating. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated entire farms of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. <laughs> and for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. <laughs> Until one night, the experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them, no question. Uh, come on, all eight at once. How is that possible? Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. So about that last vision. What about it, Tobias? The mysterious helms. Ah, stop. No, no, I'm telling you, the helmsman never made it out of the zone. He died here. Not this again. I still don't know why you're so convinced they existed in the first place. Driver, back me up here. This is how the story goes. It was the winter of 72. A ship set sail down the Columbia River 100 miles east of here. The helmsman was overcome by bad weather, and, and while in a particularly foggy patch, the boat hit something, and the impact threw him from the deck. When he woke up, he was on a boat on this very lake, smack in the middle of the zone, with no idea how he got there. He had with him a ridiculous amount of cash and paid anyone and everyone to get him out of the zone. But no matter how he tried to leave, on foot, in a transport, he would always head into a fog and re-emerge on another boat. At last count, the great pileup was 20 boats high and 30 boats wide. Uh, a limb duplication glitch, nothing more. And you, of all people, blaming limb tech instead of a good old-fashioned mystery? Uh, it doesn't add up. Otis' favorite pastime was carting people out of the zone. How could someone actually fail to escape? And a mysterious man with a backpack full of cash in the one place he can't spend it. Seems awfully fishy to me. Yeah, look, I can't really back you up on any of that, though, because I don't know who the hell the helmsman is. I wasn't here for that. I'm new, remember? Hey, in this kind of place, pays to have an open mind. I, I could believe that there was one dude who was cursed. Not like specifically supernaturally cursed, but just like coincidentally, unfortunately, chosen by the zone to have bad shit happen. They're just like anybody else who would end up being chosen by a remnant. Bench. Maybe when we get the uh, portable workbench, it won't be something that takes up like a seat rack or something. That would be nice. But we'll see how things go once I also get like other upgrades. So I'm sure the thermal vacuum will be pretty durable. Same thing with the plasma scrapper. That has me excited. I wonder what the maximum amount of energy you can have in the car is. We're at 10, but that could just be, you know, winky dink. My vacuum. What? what was that? You guys okay? <laughs> 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 
wet fix none. Oh. Oh no. Instability! This place is suddenly far more corrosive. I don't like. Wow. What a pretty view that is. The great pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. Believe me, it's true. I've seen it. What if it just shows up here now, though? Ooh. Oh, bingo! See that pattern in the last mural? That flower only grows above a, a certain elevation. Now put the three locations together, and you've got... a square mile in the northeast corner of the deep zone. Huh. The visions were pointing towards something the entire time. <laughs> hey, Oppy, you can stop pretending to ignore us now. Take a look at this fine work. We've pinned down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. You know what? Oppy? Not my story to share. All right, get to a gateway. Whoa. Well, I don't know if they can go that way. And that basilizer, they're, uh, illegitimate. Wait, wh what are you saying? I built that device to prove my imprint theory, and it was on the verge of getting the results I needed. But my research funding was running out. So, I forged the data. Not much. Just enough to justify more time. I, I was so close. I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. But Arda found out. That's why I was reassigned and my clearance revoked. Wait, wait. You told me you changed labs voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show for it. And then, and then for that to happen, I, I couldn't face you. That doesn't mean your theory is wrong. I still think there's something to it. There's a common thread with some of the remnant stories, like the telephone switchboard, the ones that seem to recall the past somehow. Maybe the remnants accessed those imprints, read them like a needle in the groove of a record. Don't. You, you don't have to do that. It's in the past. I, I don't care about it anymore. Well, hold on. But listen, I've got this suspicion, right? If we can just get the car to the mass hallucination source, what do we find they can prove your theory? It's worth a try, isn't it? I'm tired of trying, Tobias. I've tried all my life, and it didn't go so well. Look, I don't have one of those fancy degrees that you and Oppie have. The closest I ever got to science was wiping down your lab benches. But I saw the incredible things that you did with your research. Yeah, well, Arda didn't think they were incredible. I don't care about Arda. I believe in you. Always have. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do this with her. Oppie led the disciplinary committee that stripped my clearance and demoted me to a glorified intern. She sat there and decided how best to humiliate me. I never asked for anything. This one time I do, so I would I would never have to talk to Oppie again. You didn't listen. Your remnant was more important than what I wanted. Francis, I didn't mean... I've had enough. Well, okay, you didn't tell the full story of what happened there, uh, so uh, awkward. He'll, he'll, uh, he'll come around. Oh, I, I, I believe you. Sorry, Trevor. Right. We'll, um, we'll see you back at the auto shop. Yeah, you know, like, if he had known that Oppie, like, stripped you of your job 
and punished you in a way that you strongly didn't like, he probably would have been a little bit more determined to not have her involved. Maybe. But also, he did fudge the numbers, so like... <laughs> Yeah. While well, he maybe, maybe didn't deserve to get fired for it, there had to be some kind of consequence. It wasn't completely unwarranted. He didn't just get suddenly fired out of nowhere. <sighs> I've seen some eggs. I'm just. I don't have a hand back, so I'm gonna hold off. All right, you can have more than 10 uh, accumulated energy. All right, let's get out of here. when the you open a gateway the way the storm closes in the gateway is how I would expect it to app, like operate normally oh, dude, there are so many resources in this particular region holy shit Better tires. We're in a much better position here, but that's okay. Well, <laughs> right behind me, you say? I mean, well, shit. If you say so. Christine headlight, prod, repair shit. Maybe you can't, not like that. All right. We're good. Okay. I can get the fuck out of here. something in the last second, Jesus. Uh. Interesting thing about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the auto database, and what turns up? But access logs with entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961, and then the lab accident. So we were told. Then, 
I found access logs for both that team's home site and Red Meadow. Years and years worth of activity. The Red Meadow research facility? But it was demolished the same year. A after the structural damage caused by the... Uh, lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. If Dr. K didn't die that day, I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. So would I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the road for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you. God, I hate saying that. Driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. Yeah, I can certainly try. I just have um, a lot to do. Woo. Woo this is fragile, so that's just got to get replaced outright. Did it just say my friendly dumpster is fragile? Okay, no. Like, is my my dumpster going to break? That would be sad. Let's see what we got. So we got 5.3 unstable energy and 3 corrupt. So we're gonna be... We're good to get a few upgrades. Ah, shit, this thing costs 240 marsh eggs. Let me look around first. Because there might be some things I should just get. Like, I really want a radiation suit. Any static gloves were would be nice, but not as high priorities. The grip gloves would be good, too. But again, not as high priority. Shit. Well, I can at the very least get a bigger backpack. So that's nice. Ooh, boy. The last time I was here, I, I was like, oh yeah, I probably won't be able to get this limb-chipped engine for a long while, but actually, I don't know. It depends on what limb chips require to make. Because if it requires, like, that Olympium fragment, then maybe I won't be able to get it for a while. And that's okay. Mobile workbench. This is a miniature workshop inside your car. You're now able to craft more complex items while on the road. That might literally just be... a straight upgrade for the the workstation in your car without having to, like, replace any anything else, really, which would be nice. Um, but okay. Let's... get my roof storage. I might grab this. Hold on, first let's see what I need with this. This fabric? Okay. Then here, fabric and limb energy, corrupted energy rather. Let's let's grab this so I can at least see what it requires to make. All right, limb chips do need Olympium fragments and also electronics. Shit. Carbon fiber glass needs tree candy. Fuck. Still haven't really seen that. I think I got a couple pieces, but not nearly enough to 
make some of the upgrades I was hoping to do right there. Damn. Oh, I don't even have two. Really? God. That's sad. Well, let's get this fixed up. Bigger matter regenerator! I'm not going to be able to get the augmented trunk storage for a little bit, which is sad. But I can make do. <laughs> Probably don't think about how there's a huge, heavy, jury-rigged, largely untested assembly of enhanced chemicals storming away one meter behind you. Okay, I'm sad. I was hoping we would eventually replace our main car battery, but I guess not. This is just for the back seat. Or, well, a seat rack. So that's kind of lame. Mm. Oh, this is a roof rack item too? Dude. Son of a bitch. Alright, what do I need for a repair station? 600 marsh eggs. 4 limb chips. 15 limb magnets. Okay, we're not getting a repair station for a long time. Wow. I don't really care about filling up my car that much faster. Okay, here's what I could go for. Upgrades for my own life out there. Durability of the bio lantern. Okay, it's twenty two thousand. I'm going to need a crude flashlight. We don't have that much stuff, so I need to be careful. things I could get with corrupted energy. Scan a tour bus anomaly. What the fuck's a tour bus anomaly? Oh, I forgot I was gonna get the all-terrain. 
fire shit. I'll grab this just for the sake of spending the, the points. Maybe I can make that magnetic camera now. Doubt it though. Strong doubt. Any upgrades I can get on myself before I do anything else? Nope. Shit, the thermal vacuum costs thermo sap crystals. Okay, hold on. I should have enough now to make the new engine. We're gonna do that first. It is upgrade time. Alright, engine. You've done me a lot. I need new power out there. You, you're just garbage. Anything that's like fragile or anything is just getting immediately demolished. It is a shame. That seems to be about most of my parts. Space for I have this a door. fear about the future. Cause when you're building something new, you never know what the Swap. cost will be. I appreciate that you can put objects in like a quasi invisible space <laughs> when you need to like desperately move things around. Also busted up. At least I have so much scrap, I really can just replace every single door pretty free. This can get recycled. I do with this? 
Should I put this to get recycled or repaired? Eh, recycled. Do just auto back all that up. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's how that works. I was wondering if it was just gonna throw everything out over here, but it actually got put in the transfer trunk. What about the door? Did the door get put in here? Where'd the door go? Maybe it got stashed in one of my lockers. That's what I prefer it to do. He's like, if there's a part on the floor, just fucking throw that into a locker. But like random material and stuff? Nah, yeah, that can get just, just that can go away. Whatever. Is this the rooftop emitter thing? No. Does this go in the bumper? Oh! Oh shit, nice! I just had that sitting around, not knowing where it went. Mass upgrade time. You might have to hang behind. Hang behind me. Let's get hang behind me. I need you might have to three steel behind. doors. These lights on the three steel panels. Actually, four steel doors. I can get a little bit more light on what I'm working on the car. <laughs> Turn on the bright lights so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay. 
hoping at some point we... have enough space in my car that I can carry other extra wheels? Like just a full set? That'd be sweet. Replace all of the car's original parts. Car of Theseus. Yeah, I was, and you know, I was thinking about that too. When I was destroying the engine, I'm like, man, there really isn't a lot of the original remnant left, huh? Alright. I can just slap some goo on the remaining things. so much fuel in that last area. We had a full tank halfway through it. And I still had only 30% left by the end. Jesus. Now I've got an engine that takes even more fuel, so oh boy. Torch, the plasma charger. Everything emptied out. Oh wait, I gotta get rid of these bulbs. How big are spare tires in comparison to other tires? Okay, so summer tires and spare tires take up the same amount of space. Which means I'm just getting rid of the spare tires then. What happens to anything else? I just lost some parts that actually I maybe didn't want to lose. What the fuck happened? Oh, do they end up in here? Oh, shit. Okay. That's good. Oh. More info 
follow button. We already knew some of these things. All right. Oh, it shows you how many miles you've used some of these. That's fun. So this armored, this armored door has gone through 1,835 miles. I assume that's from before me. Because <laughs> everything else is at 30 some miles or something. 50 miles, sheesh. I right, fuck it, we're just dismantling this. Let me make sure to get all the materials out, because I don't know how this thing works in terms of when it would delete the items. If it does, sometimes developers are nice. I sure hope it doesn't get rid of anything in here. Side rack items are getting a little bit low on durability. And I can't do anything about them. to help. Which is good. I might need to carry around another large fuel can. <laughs> like better safe than sorry burning double the amount of fuel than I used to. Alright. I'll put it in here as well. Super cool toys. Yeah, that's not happening for a while. Uh, what's the plasma scrapper use? Plasma scrapper is actually reasonable. All right. Yeehaw! Ooh, that looks cool. And then we can do the thermal vacuum. I do a regular vac as well, just in case. The power of plasma makes this upgrade scrapper almost feral. Feel its fury as it shudders in your hands. Hear its roar as it tears metal from metal. Scrap like you've never scrapped before. That's my full-on intention. <laughs> okay, then a crude flashlight. Whoa! Now that's what I'm talking about, holy shit. 
That is so much better. It doesn't have like hella distance. Like that's crazy. The fuck? But still. Versus this fucking off thing. Massive upgrade, all right. Am I good on putty and stuff? We've got like three blow torches or something. Okay, we got two blow torches. Summer tire here. I'm gonna make an off road tire in case something goes wrong. Is there an auto sort button? Doesn't seem like it. That's okay. There. That just makes that that makes that feels a little better in my mind. figure out that route. Oh, had I not visited the dumpster? No, I had. Now they want me to go all the way up here. Interesting. Oh wait, I can't pick any of those destinations currently? Oh shit. I can do some of these other ones. <laughs> wait, I can't. I can't go over here. Alright. There's a highway here that I'm curious about. I would skip a lot of trouble trying to get over in this direction. Let's mark this path. I'm still curious what the fuck the destination planning thing even really means. Cause like if I go here, I know the gateways aren't gonna let me out. We're we're gonna go on a normal path out. But maybe it keeps it there for a future trip instead. Hi guy. Okay, hold on. I got a bumper thing now. Prevent unwanted hangers. On making contact with the vehicle. Two per activation. Activate. This is not a pun, it's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro-organic entities to hold on to or harm the vehicle. Yes. I'm just making things, make sure things work in my car. Okay, my drive shift works. <laughs> 
steering left or right doesn't open anything on my car. Okay. I don't know what's going on with my quirks. How do I have four plus quirk and none of them are like even noticeable? <laughs> 